Hey guys, and welcome back to another Evil Anarchy Convention vlog. Today we're at AXGB Day 1, and we're checking out the exhibit hall. I only made one purchase, uh, sort of towards the end of the video, but I wanted to take some time and talk about the exhibit hall in general, because there's a lot of things I liked and a lot of things I didn't like. But here I am grabbing the swag bag. Almost missed this. They moved it out further for Day 2. Uh, and I'm gonna let some of the ambient noise here, uh, you know, carry this video because I, I feel like I don't show you guys that much. So as you guys can tell from the video, this place is swarming with people. This must have been around noon. I don't think I've seen an event this swarm since Animanga, and Animanga was a mess. That one, whoo, they didn't have like the AC on for Animanga or something, and so it was a lot hotter. Like it was still kind of like a little hot in AX Chibi here, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, and also, you know, I've been to, I think my favorite event that's ever been in the Ontario Convention Center, which is where I'm at today, uh, is, Comic Con Revolution. That was a wonderful event. I loved it. It's more of a Western comic convention, but there was definitely a lot of anime and a lot of merchandise still there. I was actually surprised by what was being sold here at Anime Expo Chibi. I'm here in the exhibit hall looking for, you know, the drip because there's like so many good shirts to find in exhibit halls versus Artist Alley, even though I do spend most of my money in the Artist Alley because I like supporting actual artists. Because in the exhibit hall, you kind of tend to find brands and corporations and there's a few brands and corporations I do like like Good Smile and I'm gonna talk about them when they come up in the video but but let me know what you guys uh, like about the exhibit hall in general I'm sort of just doing a little quick walkthrough here I'm trying not to buy too much on day one I end up buying a little bit towards the end of the video I got a nice little print uh, and I also got some Good Smile posters which I'll, I'll talk about when them when we get to that point but uh, I'm gonna go take a little break because this hall is just exhausting me I've only been in here for maybe like 30 minutes and this crowd is just wiping me like to the ground like it's just killing me and you know that's kind of like a normal thing for a convention in general but i feel like this one was crowded this one was more crowded than anime expo regular but across the hall they have the cosplay section and some panel rooms i checked those out in another video so be sure to check them out when they come out here i am taking a little break i went and got a, a coke uh, you know, honestly, this wasn't badly priced for a drink. I think this was like $4, $5. I've been to some anime conventions where they'll charge you like $8 for a soda, and it's just a benign. Like, it's killing me. Um, I think at Anime Expo Regular, I paid like $6 for like one of those tall cans of, of Coca-Cola. And then day two, they didn't even have the tall cans. They only had the regular 20 ounces for the same price, which is just a total rip. But enough sitting around, let's get back in this exhibit hall real quick. Uh, I'm gonna meet up with friends in a little bit and I wanted to just, you know, get a little bit more footage of here before I go to meet up with them. I actually had gotten a new camera. I'm working with the GoPro 11 and I didn't get spare batteries for it. I had given my camera to another friend. So I gave him all my batteries and my old battery charger with that because they're new batteries with the new GoPro. And unfortunately that meant I was on low battery for most of the event. And so I wasn't able to get as much proper coverage as I thought I would be. I was kind of uh, expecting for it to charge a little bit faster, but I think the wall is here in the halls were uh, a little dampened so that way people weren't, you know, taking off electricity. But here's the Good Smile booth. This line is ridiculous. I don't know what everyone's waiting around here for. There's like a line, you can't see it here, but this line wraps around the whole booth and then goes up on the wall. I'm not sure what they're trying to buy here. I don't know what's going on. I, I came back here later in the night uh, maybe right before the hall closed, like around like 5.55, because it closes at six. And I was able to snag 
the two posters that I was looking at, because I had talked to Chai in my last video from the Artist Alley video, and she was showing me the Pro Mare and the Kill a Kill posters, and I had to get those. They were two posters. Uh, they actually had four, I think, but I only got two of them. I got one uh, variation of each of them, and it was uh, like a 24 by 36 poster for Kill a Kill, and then... Uh, a Kill a Kill and Pro Mare, and they were like the 10th anniversary for Kill a Kill. But this line is massive, and here is a photo of the posters I got. I absolutely love Kill a Kill. I'm not such a big fan of Pro Mare, but Kill a Kill is totally my jam. I've actually got a bunch of art books from Trigger as well. Like I got some storyboard books for Kill a Kill, uh, and I just got a lot of Trigger merchandise in general. Uh, you know, they had some really banging booths pre-COVID. I got a lot of Little Witch Academia merch that I absolutely love. And, you know, one thing about this exhibit hall is they had a lot of cars in here. I think there must have been, like, four or five cars that they had in this exhibit hall. They could have pulled all these cars out and had them in, like, a nice Itachi section instead of having them in the exhibit hall. Like, I get that one one person was wrapping their car earlier. Like, you could maybe have seen it in the video as I walked by it. And I'm going to have, I'm going to cover that in general uh, in the day two vid because I see them, like, continuing to wrap it and finish it up. Uh, and it looks great, uh, but... Why did that need to be in the exhibit hall? You could have had that in the parking lot out by, you know, the food or something. You didn't need to have that indoors. Like, bad idea. Bad idea. It's just taking up space. And I feel like there was a lot of misutilized space at this event in general. I feel like this event was very rushed. The staff was a little underprepared. Uh, they didn't really know what they're doing. And, you know, it was kind of like a first-time event, right? Like... So even though Anime Expo has been going on for years, I feel like a lot of the staff that normally works regular AX wasn't this staff. Like, I feel like, uh, you know, you also have to consider that the Ontario Convention Center has their own staff for security. And here I'm checking out the Gachapon. I, I make sure I get some Gachapon later in day two. Uh, so, you know, you check out that video when that comes out. Uh, but then here's the Arcane uh, Made Cafe booth. From my understanding, nobody likes these guys. I don't understand how they keep having booths when apparently they're kind of got like a lot of drama associated around them. Like apparently the, the founder is a little bit uh, on the nose of being uh, not such a good guy. I don't know. That's just what I've heard. Uh, I've got some friends who are in the Maid Cafe realm. I don't know much about it. I've never even been to a maid cafe. I'm going to be completely honest. They don't let me film in maid cafes, so I don't go to maid cafes. Look, if they let me bring in a camera, I'll go in. If they don't let me bring a camera, I'm not going in. That's exactly, you know, it's, it's that simple. In in, in Anime Expo, uh, <laughs> okay, okay, so, so get this. They had uh, a lot of filming rules here for Anime Expo Chibi that were actually really, really odd. Like, it seemed like they were trying to gouge uh, press for money to be able to film here at this event. I think maybe, you know, they were a little bit on their high horse for that. I don't think anyone, you know, paid for it. And if you did, I feel so bad for you. I think it was like $2,500 a day to get a proper filming permit. That's just ridiculous. And they wanted insurance too. Like, and they, and they, and they like, it's just dumb. It's so dumb. Like, they should have just axed that out. Like, whoever came up with that and put that into their clause should be fired and removed from the AX staff. Because that's just killing vloggers. And you don't want to kill vloggers at your event. Because even though vloggers might go to your event, or live streamers might go to your event, and they might have some critical opinions of your event, like, in general, it's a good thing to see people going and shopping and, and buying stuff in general, right? Like, and of course you need to call out these booths that are, are you know, doing unsavory things. Like the booths that are selling bootleg merchandise, which I'm glad I didn't see uh, some of the usual suspects of uh, people who love to sell bootleg stolen art. I can't stand them. Uh, but speaking of art, here's some really dope uh, button-up shirts I was looking at. These were very soft, very silky. I think they were like satin almost. I love the texture. I didn't get any of these. I wish they were a little bit more anime, or at least as car shirt, I wish it was more initial D themed than just vintage cars. It, you know, it's cool. These are really cool shirts. Not really my aesthetic. Wish they had some anime girls on them. Uh, and then they had some normal shirts over here, which were pretty cool. I like these a lot. I like the designs on these. I wish these designs were on the other shirts, right? Like, I'm so tired of getting t-shirts with the cool anime girls on it and not being able to get button-ups with the anime girls on it. Like, I don't understand. Why is it that hard to understand that I want, like, people want to buy button-ups with anime girls on it? I feel like everywhere I go, it's always, like, the button-ups always have to have, like, some sort of stupid pattern. 
Uh, and then here's Nerdy Bit, love Nerdy Bit. Been stopped by them. They have merch on their store for my friend Zumi VT. Be sure to check her out. I've got her keychain and a few of her stickers and you know, she's just a great VTuber in general and she just had like a 21 day subathon, which is just ridiculous. But I'm actually gonna be coming up on my first purchase here in the exhibit hall. So I'm gonna leave you with the camera audio and then I'm gonna pick it back up a little bit after. print of the, the decapitation? Yeah. <laughs> it's 20, right? Perfect. Sorry, come back. No worries. Oh wait, I'm already following it. Oh. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Uh, and here's that car that I was saying that was being wrapped. I've never seen an anime wrap actually being put on a car, and this is a Porsche. I made sure to read the little hood here. Uh, this is probably a very expensive car, and they have also got the Iron Mouse wrapped car over here, too. I don't know if this is a Porsche as well, uh, but this is the Senpai Squad or the Express Skins booth. They were at regular AX as well. I, I again, think these cars should have been outside, and they could have opened up the space a lot more to have better aisles here, because it was so crowded. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. I'm gonna be talking about the AI art booth in uh, maybe my day two video when that comes out. Uh, but uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'm gonna have so much more content coming out. I've got like five more videos planned from the footage I filmed of me talking, and you know, I'm trying to get some of the camera audio in there because I don't really utilize that as best as I could. I know you guys probably like that. I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you prefer me talking over these videos or if you prefer to hear the camera audio. I, I, I don't necessarily like having the camera audio on all the time because it makes me a little nervous because I you know, I, I don't know what I'm gonna say in person. Like sometimes I feel like I say some cringe shit. Like, like you know, like I get, you know, way exhausted from walking around in circles all day and then I go buy something and I just sound like an idiot on camera, right? But uh, again, that's it for today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one and bye bye